Open up your LEGO Mindstorm software and click the plus tab. In this lesson we're going to learn how to program the color sensor attachment so that we can follow a line. At this stage you should have completed the Riley Rover assembly. If you haven't done so yet, in the description of this video I'll provide these free online assembly guides on how to build the Riley Rover. Thanks to this gentleman Damien Key for providing this free building instruction guide. Within your new project, click on the flow control tab and click and drag the switch program and snap it to your play. I'm going to click on the zoom out button so I can see the entire program. Make sure we're on the correct port. If you've installed it in the correct port, it should be in port 3, the color sensor. And now let's actually choose the correct sensor by clicking on this button. Finding the color sensor, we're going to go to compare, color. We're going to select the black icon and uncheck any other colors. Now click back on the action tab and we're going to drag move steering up into the check section. Let's try that again. There we go. We want this motor on and slightly to the left so negative 20 would be fine at power 50 so if the robot sees black it'll go left let's move another steering block in, turn it on. If we don't see black, we need to go right. So type 20 for 20. And we want to loop this. So go back to flow control, click and drag loop, snap it into the play block click on the switch block and drag the inside of the loop like so go to file save project as line follower click save turn on your robot if it's not on and plug in the USB cable You'll hear your robot turn on. Go ahead and download the program to your robot. Your robot will make a sound. And then test your program by going to the Program tab, finding the Live Follow program, and hitting Run. You might notice that the input 3 here has nothing. If you click on that, you can actually select the proper sensor. We're going to click on color sensor and color. 
You can then again download your program to your robot and test it. Once your program is loaded onto your robot, you're going to want to place it on the printed out black line that's been provided. Okay. Make sure the color sensor is centered with the line. Place the bot right on there. Find your program in the Programs tab. Okay. If you ever need to back out, don't forget that this is the back button. And when I press Run, it should follow that line. Let me back it up a little bit so I can see it move along. To stop the robot, press the back button. Let's see that one more time. Let's see it coming towards us. Great. 